Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki and today we are getting to the much anticipated Makeup 101 video. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I haven't taken any classes or what have you. But if you are a beginner like myself, I know something about makeup. I have some knowledge. I'm self-taught. I've been doing it almost been doing a full face almost a year now or you may know less about blah you may know less than I know or you may know nothing at all but that's fine we're here sis I got you so I was prepared I'm using my camera today I got some notes on my phone for you guys hopefully I didn't forget anything but we're gonna create a look something really simple pretty much going over everything and some of the basics, let me adjust my lights, there we go. So first and foremost, rule number one, you never forget this one. We start on clean, moisturized skin. Skincare, most important part. Do not mind the pimples. I'm going, I'm recovering from a breakout. Life happens. So we're going to get into these tips. We're going to start with eyes and eyebrows. Because personally, I cannot do my eyebrows when I've already applied foundation and stuff. Because if I mess up, I have to take everything off. So we're going to start with eyebrows. I have an eyebrow pencil from Nika K. You don't need a really expensive eyebrow pencil. And I think it's in soft black black brown because you don't one thing is you don't want your eyebrows too dark you want them to look natural so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my spoolie and we're just gonna brush those out now I'm a hundred I know some people don't have full eyebrows that's okay we're gonna try to work with this the way we can what you want to do is follow your desired eyebrow shape I just follow my eyebrows. I'm not trying to create any crazy arches. And I don't want to do that line too, too dark. I just want to make sure I follow that line or my brows, rather my arch. And I do extend it at the tail at the end because I want a sharper brow. If you can see that. And at the top I go above just a little bit so when I clean them up I'm not directly on my eyebrow I don't mess anything up but I'm just gonna follow the shape that you want to do and I think I've said this in a video before that it took me forever to get my brows the way I wanted them because I was trying so hard to do them like I was seeing in videos or in pictures when I shouldn't have been because I have eyebrows. They were too, they were too dark or they were entirely too thick. It was all bad, it was all bad. And another thing you don't wanna do when you're doing your brows is you don't wanna to try to create a box at the front like you don't want to try to connect them at the front because you'll get that boxy shape and we want natural looking eyebrows. So now that I have created the outline, I'm just going to go and fill in where I need to, which isn't a lot. And as I'm doing that, I'm taking my spoolie and blending. And if you hear my kids in the background, I apologize. I don't know how to keep them quiet. As long as they stay out of here, we're good. We'll have a successful video as long as they stay out of here. But. Just gonna fill in and blend, fill in and blend. And I know I look crazy right now. But we gotta trust the process, sis. 
with makeup, you have got to trust the process. Because this is only the beginning. Okay. That is it for creating our brow, our desired brow look. Let me see. Okay, so now we're gonna clean up our brows. Where's my concealer? It's right here. Now today, I know there are times when I will highlight under my brow, but today we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna use a concealer that's closer to my skin tone. And I'm just gonna put some little dots up underneath. And this one doesn't dry down really fast, so that's fine. Once I feel like I got enough, I'm just going to go over it. Now, I'm going to try to do this simultaneous. This flat brush, I got this with a set that I got from Amazon. This is what I use to blend out my concealer for under my eyes. And again, just like we did when we were outlining, we're just going to follow that line. You just follow that line. And once I start practice doing my eyebrows, I realize it's not as hard as I was making it seem. But it was as hard as I was making it seem because I didn't have the steadiest of hands. I didn't. Not gonna lie to nobody. And I got this um, complexion duo, compla, complexion duo brush from Elf. And I'm just gonna use this little part down here to buff that concealer. Cause we don't want any harsh lines, or as you may hear, lines of demarcation. And I'm just gonna go over the top. I'm just gonna put that on the brush because I have a really bad habit of messing up, cleaning up the top of my brows. And I'm just following directly on that line that I did at the top because like I said, I have a horrible habit of being on my eyebrow. literally would take my brow off here we go we got one clean brow and it's looking good now we're gonna get this other one here we go brow another thing because I know I've heard it from a couple people even people that I know that they get frustrated when the eyebrows don't look the same and sis I know I know it hurts but I've learned from a youtuber her name is Maya Galore that I've watched numerous times before I started doing my makeup is that eyebrows are sisters and not twins so if we can get them as close as possible, it's fine. It would be just fine. Cause I'm 100% sure that my eyebrows do not look the same, but they're close. But again, it just takes practice, practice and practice. And I'm just extra, I'm just going over with my sponge to make sure all of that is buffed in. And there we have it. Our brows are done. Wasn't too, too bad. Now we're gonna get into eyeshadow, which is fun for me. Cause I like to be creative with my eyeshadow, but what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what I use. 
but of course it may vary person to person now to prime our eyelids you can either go in with a lighter concealer which i have here but i'm not going to use it but you can use a lighter concealer or you can use an eyeshadow primer and i mine is in like a beige color i got it from amazon i'm not sure the brand but i use this to get my eye my colors pigmented Tremaine. But I use this to get my eyebrows, eyebrows, <laughs> my eyeshadow to be as pigmented as possible. I want my color to pop. And I'm just using my eyeshadow. Here I go again. I'm using the brush I use for the concealer on my brows. And that's just gonna blend in with that concealer. And I'm going to clean it up a little bit more in just a second with my sponge. But we want our eyeshadow to pop. And if you're going to use, you know, a nude color, I can say that you don't have to do this part. You can skip this part if you want to, but it's not going to last as long. And it's possible that it's going to crease very possible and we don't want our makeup crease. Boom, that's done. I'm gonna go over with my sponge lightly just to make sure that it's pressed in there. Blend it. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I haven't taken any classes or what have you. But if you are a beginner, like myself, I know something about makeup. I have some knowledge. I'm self-taught. I've been doing it almost, been doing a full face almost a year now. You may know less than I know, or you may know nothing at all, but that's fine. We're here, sis. I got you. So, I was prepared. I'm using my camera today. I got some notes on my phone for you guys. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, but we're going to create a look, something really simple, pretty much going over everything and some of the basics. Let me adjust my lights. There we go. So first and foremost, rule number one, you never forget this one. We start on clean, moisturized skin. Skincare, most important part. Do not mind the pimples. I'm going, I'm recovering from a breakout. Life happened. So we're gonna get into these tips. We're gonna start with eyes and eyebrows. Because personally, I cannot do my eyebrows when I've already applied foundation and stuff. Because if I mess up, I have to take everything off. So we're gonna start with eyebrows. I have an eyebrow pencil from Nika K. You don't need a really expensive eyebrow pencil. And I think it's in soft black, black brown. Cause you don't, one thing is you don't want your eyebrows too dark. You want them to look natural. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my spoolie and we're just gonna brush those out. I know. Some people don't have full eyebrows. That's okay. We're going to try to work with this the way we can. What you want to do is follow your desired eyebrow shape. I just follow my eyebrows. I'm not trying to create any crazy arches. And I don't want to do that line too, too dark. I just want to make sure I follow that line or my brows, rather my arch. And I do extend it at the tail at the end because I want a sharper brow. If you can see that. And at the top, I go above just a little bit. So when I clean them up, I'm not directly on my eyebrow. I don't mess anything up. But I'm just going to follow the shape that you want to do. 
and I think I've said this in a video before that it took me forever to get my brows the way I wanted them because I was trying so hard to do them like I was seeing in videos or in pictures when I shouldn't have been because I have eyebrows. They were too, they were too dark or they were entirely too thick. It was all bad, it was all bad. And another thing you don't wanna do when you're doing your brows is you don't wanna to try to create a box at the front. Like you don't wanna to try to connect them at the front because you'll get that boxy shape and we want natural looking eyebrows. So now that I have created the outline, I'm just gonna go and fill in where I need to which isn't a lot. And as I'm doing that, I'm taking my spoolie and blending. And if you hear my kids in the background, I apologize. I don't know how to keep them quiet. As long as they stay out of here, we're good. We'll have a successful video as long as they stay out of here. But, Gonna fill in and blend, fill in and blend. And I know I look crazy right now, but we gotta trust the process, sis. With makeup, you have got to trust the process. Because this is only the beginning. Okay, that is it for creating our brow, our desired brow look. Now we're gonna clean up our brows. Where's my concealer? It's right here. Now today, I know there are times when I will highlight under my brow, but today we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna use a concealer that's closer to my skin tone. And I'm just gonna put some little dots up underneath. And this one doesn't dry down really fast, so that's fine. Once I feel like I got enough, I'm just gonna go over it. Now, I'm gonna try to do this simultaneous. This flat brush, I got this with a set that I got from Amazon. This is what I use to blend out my concealer for under my eyes. And again, just like we did when we were outlining, we're just gonna follow that line. Just following that line. And I got this complexion duo brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to use this little part down here to buff that concealer. If you don't want any harsh lines. Or as you may hear, lines of demarcation. And I'm just gonna go over the top. I'm just gonna put that on the brush because I have a really bad habit of messing up, cleaning up the top of my brows. And I'm just following directly on that line that I did at the top. Cause like I said, I have a horrible habit of being on my eyebrow. literally will take my brow off here we go we got one clean brow and it's looking good now we're gonna get this other one and another thing because I know I've heard it from a couple people even people that I know that they get frustrated when the eyebrows don't look the same. And sis, I know, I know it hurts, but I've learned from a YouTuber, her name is Maya Galore, that I've watched numerous times before I started doing my makeup, is that eyebrows are sisters and not twins. 
So if we can get them as close as possible, it's fine. It would be just fine. Cause I'm 100% sure that my eyebrows do not look the same, but they're close. But again, it just takes practice, practice, and practice. And I'm just extra, I'm just going over with my sponge to make sure all of that is buffed in. And there we have it. Our brows are done. Wasn't too, too bad. Now we're gonna get into eyeshadow. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what I use. But of course, it may vary person to person now. To prime our eyelids, you can either go in with a lighter concealer, which I have here, but I'm not going to use it. But you can use a lighter concealer or you can use an eyeshadow primer. And I, mine is in like a beige color. I got it from Amazon. I'm not sure the brand. But I use this to get my eye, my colors pigmented. But I use this to get my eyeshadow to be as pigmented as possible i want my color to pop and i'm just using my eyeshadow here i go again i'm using the brush i use for the concealer on my brows and that's just gonna blend in with that concealer and i'm gonna clean it up a little bit more and just a second with my sponge. Boom, that's done. I'm gonna go over with my sponge lightly just to make sure that's pressed in there. Blend it. Okay, so now that we have our lids prepped, I'm gonna go in with two different palettes, but I'm still gonna use hmm, maybe three colors. I'm gonna try to keep it really simple. Cause I want something blue. I kind of like color and I'm normally doing something really, really um, neutral. So I'm going in with this fluffy blending brush and there's the eyeshadow on that. That's another thing, clean your brushes. I normally clean my brushes, but I have been holding off on this video because of life and it's fine because we went in with a dark color. But anyway, this fluffy blending brush and it's dense. This is gonna be for my transition color. And I'm gonna go in with this dark brown right here. Tap off any excess. And I'm just gonna pat that on. I'm not worried about blending at the moment. I just wanna pat it on for color. And I'm bringing it over at the top more if zoom so you can see what I'm doing up close and personal so I brought that over at the top a little more but at the bottom I'm gonna keep it mm, I'm gonna say about halfway bring it over about halfway if you desire to do eyeshadow make sure you get a good palette you don't want to use cheap palettes because they're not as good you want something that's going to blend well and you want it to last the most important part is you want it to last and you want it to blend so now i'm just going to blend that and it's a mixture of circular motions and sweeping motions depending on how far you want it to go out and mine isn't going out too far all right now i'm gonna go in this is my morphe 9b vintage rose palette this is one of my favorite palettes and then i got i think i have three or four Juvia's Place palettes. And I'm gonna tell you why. Juvia's Place palettes are, 
the Juvie's Place palettes are really, really pigmented. So if you like color, they're not very expensive, but they are definitely worth the money. This is my Warrior 3 palette. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna be going in with this blue and then this shimmer blue. And I'm gonna use this smaller blender brush because I want that color to pack on a little more. So we're gonna go in with this blue first. Tap off the excess. And we're gonna keep it on the lid. We're just gonna use that inner part that we didn't put that brown on. And I'm not gonna put it in this uh, inner corner over here. Okay, we're gonna go in with that brown. I'm not gonna put any extra product on it. Just gonna blend that forward into that blue. Nice and soft. If you can, if you can. And that's gonna be a word that I'm gonna keep saying and it's probably gonna get on your nerves but we had to blend, 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 blend. And now I'm gonna use this same brush because it's the same color. Go in with this blue shimmer shade. And I would normally go in with my finger, but I'm gonna try it with the brush first. And I'm just gonna go in my inner, just that inner corner. Just for a little shine. I'm gonna bring it down just a tad bit. What we thinking? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it with my finger just a little bit because I'm gonna try to make sure we keep it where we want it and not too far out. And if this was too much to take in, I apologize. Let me know in the comments and we'll make that right. We'll go in with a beginner friendly eyeshadow maybe two colors just to show you how to blend out but there we have it with the eyeshadow I'm going to go back in with that just take a little bit of that baby blue that we used and blend in with that shimmer shade And guys, that is it for eyes. Kept it clean, kept it simple. If I would have done a neutral look today, I would have gone in with, I would have normally gone in with this brown and this brown. But literally, that would have been it. If I would have wanted to go in with some color, it would have been this shimmer or that. And I might have thrown the white in in the corner just for a little pop to make it stand out a tad bit more. But, and don't worry if you get anything out here. Like I said, I do eyes and eyebrows first because if I mess up, we can always clean it up with concealer. So now I'm going in with my, I never do my um, eyeliner first, so I'm going to do that I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. This is just a um, black eyeliner pencil. And I'm gonna go in with an eyeliner. This is what I'm still working on. And I'm just gonna line my eye. I'm gonna try to do a small wing. I'm not gonna go crazy. keep it right there there we go oh, I actually got a successful little liner going now something I forget to keep my brows down I use an eyebrow gel 
and I don't want to forget that. Now we're going to prep for lashes. And these are a pair of lashes I got from someone. They have been used to death, but I love these lashes. And I'm going in with my lash duo with a little brush. Put some mascara on my lashes. Because I find it easier for me to apply my lashes by putting the glue right above or right on top of my liner. Put it on the lashes, it's all over the place. Once I start applying and it don't apply right. I've been putting on lashes a little over a year and they still give me problems. Still give me problems. There we are. And a lot of this stuff that I use on a daily basis is not expensive. I don't, I have learned that you don't have to buy luxury for your makeup to look good because they have a lot of dupes that are cheap, drugstore, so they call it, that looks just as good. You can finesse it the way you need to, it'll look just as good. So, like I said, I'm gonna take my lash duo Take my lash duo, take that brush, and do it just like I just put on my eyeliner. And there we have it for our lashes. I think that was a little close. But there we have it, relaxers. Gonna zoom it back out. I call this my she area. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. Let me see, zoom out a little. There we go. Well, yeah, this is my area. I normally do my makeup over at my vanity, but for video purposes, I wanted to have an actual background. And I actually like Having that in the background, I'm gonna zoom back in just a little bit. Cause we're gonna get into the face. What I could have done before now was prime my face, but I normally wait to do that like right before I do my foundation. Yeah, I've been doing a full face for almost a year now. In October, it'll be a year. I don't know the exact date at the moment, but um, yeah, it takes practice. Today I'm going in with my primer. You don't want to forget this step because your makeup lasts longer and it'll help blur out your pores. Any, I'm not gonna say any primer would do, but you want a primer that will actually get your foundation to stick. So I'm going in today with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is what it looks like. I don't use it too, too often, but we're gonna put that all over the face. And a key for when you're putting on primer, you don't want to rub it in like lotion. You wanna do the motion, <laughs> lotion and motion. But I'm gonna move that back. And I know you can see my cap, it's fine. It's fine, just for the purpose of the video. Cause I don't feel like that's enough. But, you want to rub it in, but you want to keep it like a film on your skin, if that makes sense. We need to get into the types of brushes first. And the easiest thing that I can tell you to do is buy brush sets. Like I got this one from BH Cosmetics. And it has the brushes you need in here. Most of them, anyway. And then I got a set from, I got a set from Morphe. I haven't used these. This one came with a sponge, specifically, or particularly came with a sponge. And then there's all the brushes you need. You can always go and buy a brush set. 
But now, you can also get them off of Amazon. I have done that too. But there'll be some unnecessary brushes in those packs. And that's fine. You don't have to deal with them. But we have this dense flat brush that we're going to use for our foundation. And before I put my foundation on, I'm going to spray my brush with setting spray because it helps with the longevity of foundation. They work together. And we're still going to spray some at the end as well. Now, getting back into finding your foundation shape. Um, this one in particular, they're an online store, so they have you do a little quiz. Um, it can be tricky, especially with now, no one really wants to go to the stores and, um, even really, you know, deal with going to go buy makeup or whatever. And I get it. It's me because most of the foundations I have, I got offline. Let me zoom in just a tad bit. There we go. If you're going to go into a store, go somewhere like Ulta or Sephora where they'll let you kind of shade match. Unless you just want to go in, um, like you can go to Walmart. Target selection is amazing now. You can go in and kind of, what I would say do is match like your chest, your arms or something. Cause like me, my neck is darker than all of this. And I don't want to walk around with a foundation that matches my neck and then I got my arms and stuff out like how I got right now. And my face and stuff is way darker than everything else. So we want to match chest. We're going to match the chest. So I put two points of foundation on my hand and we're going to go in with the brush because you can build your coverage and I start like right here and work my way out. And with a lot of foundations, of course you just have to read up on it. Um, some are full coverage, some are medium coverage. And I know more or less light coverage would be uh, skin tints. Skin tints would more or less be light coverage. But I just say start out with two pumps and you should be able to get your whole face. Because that's all I used of this. And you always blend into your neck. You want everything to be seamless. You don't want to walk around with your face. Mm. You don't want to walk around with your face one color and then your neck is another color. And I'm not getting too close to my eyes. We're going to do concealer in just a moment. And, um, seasons change when it's hot outside, when it's cold outside. Skin gets darker, skin gets lighter. Make sure you have more than one foundation shade, depending on the season that you are in. Now we're gonna get into concealer. Now to find your concealer shade, it's pretty much the same as finding your foundation shade. Because like I, I have this concealer, this is from Juvia's Place. Again, I ordered this offline. Um, you just try to match it with your skin this one is more of a skin tone for me but this is i normally put this one on first like my skin tone complexion i will put on first and if i want to highlight i go in with a lighter found a lighter concealer not a foundation concealer and that would be like this one. this one is about a shade or two lighter than me versus this one is either a shade lighter or it is my shade so what we're gonna do is i'm not gonna highlight at this moment i'm just gonna go in under the eye and i know we've seen the tiktok hack with that but it's to help lift and you don't have to use as much because when we're blending it out it's gonna cover that middle bar gonna hit the chin 
and with concealer it's more or less where the natural light is gonna hit so we have what we call a t-zone which would be the forehead down the nose it's right there the chin where the light would normally catch your face so I'm gonna let this dry down when you are using a sponge make sure it stays damp it doesn't have to be wet just make sure it's damp so we can get that product moved and I let my concealer dry down because it blends a little better instead of just disappearing on my sponge my camera stops recording automatically but either way this is what I would do like an everyday look this is what I would do I would not highlight I wouldn't go any further than this but for video purposes we're gonna highlight just a little bit under the eye and I do mean just a little so I'm gonna go right there with it I'm not gonna do too too much just right there and while I'm letting that dry down, I'm going to go in with my contour shade. Now this is not my contour shade. Okay, so your contour shade would be a shade, maybe two shades darker than you. You don't wanna go too dark, but you don't wanna get your complexion because it's just gonna blend in with your foundation. And this is to accentuate the high cheekbones. And you know, if you want to contour your nose or if you wanna contour your forehead, like feel where your cheekbone is and mine is like up here so I just kind of follow that up and you want to go upward and then I have this smaller angled brush again it came with a set that I got from Amazon I'm gonna take that on this foundation stick and I'm gonna start at my eyebrow and come down. Let me go ahead and blend this before it completely dries. Now for my contour brush, I'm gonna go with this, I wanna say it's angled. It is angled, but it's got like a curve in it. And that is gonna help with I guess the angle that we're going at. Up. Rather than down. We don't want to drag it down. I'm taking any of that excess and I'm just going over the rest of the face or where I've already contoured. Now I'm gonna go with, uh, with my sponge. Get those harsh lines from where we contoured around the nose. And what I also like to do is go back in with my foundation brush. I'm not gonna put anything on it. What is this? It comes naturally once you practice, practice, practice. Now we're gonna go into powder. I'm using, okay, so true beginners, and I learned this lesson myself in the beginning. Use one powder. Use a skin tone powder. I have that right here. Just use a skin tone powder. This is my Maybelline Fit Me in Dark. I also have the Fenty powder in Coffee. Like I said, you want to use a skin tone powder if you are a true beginner and just go over your face to set it. Now, I, again for the purpose of the video, I'm going to highlight. So I have a lighter powder. This one is a pressed powder. It's really not different. It's less messy though. So I'm going to go in with this fluffy. It's a fluffy brush. I'm going to dab that in. Not too much. I do just enough to sit. My makeup. Now I'm gonna go in with my skin tone powder, my dark, and I'm just gonna buff that all over the face.
You don't have to bake. You do not have to bake to get a highlighted look whatsoever. Now, if you want a more highlighted look, yes, you can bake by all means. Do it. I, on the other hand, do not like baking. Because again, I have not mastered that and then I don't really care for that highlighted, that really, really highlighted look. It's not my thing. So, we're going to go in with bronzer. This is my Fenty and Mocha Mommy. I think I have another one. I have a CoverGirl one as well. They're about the same color. We're going to use this. It is also an angle brush, but it doesn't have that little curve in it. It's just a fluffy angle brush. I don't know if it's going to even focus that. But anyway, you bronze where you contour. And that's to bring some... They say it's like a sun kiss look, so I guess to bring a little bit of color or depth into your face. Same kind of brush, just a different angled brush. Then we're going to go in with some blush. Not a huge blush person, but I like this one from Black Radiance. It's in the color Brick House because it's kind of neutral. I'm going to use my blush brush because it comes off a tad better with that. Okay, we are getting to the very end. Right, so, we're going to go in with our highlight. My absolute favorite highlight is this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. And I only have this one. I want the gold one as well. But this one's Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule is two different colors, but they can go together. And we're going to use this little fluffy brush. We're just going to go in with, which one's this, Ginger Binge. But I want some shimmer, but I don't want all that shimmer. So we're going to knock off the excess with, as we've been doing everything. And I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to use this blending eyeshadow brush that I have not used. I'm going to go in with that. And I always tell last but not least, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to do my lips before I set my entire face. I don't have a dark enough like brown pencil, so I'm going back in with that eyeliner that I use to do my waterline to line my lips. Use that just a little bit. It's an ombre lip, but it's a nude ombre lip, and I use the NYX Butter Glosses. I'm gonna go in with Cinnamon Roll first. Okay, then we're gonna go in with Madeline. And now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that's it. Okay, guys, here we have it. Here is our finished look. Oh, we're feeling the beads. We're feeling the blue. I'm giving blues today, but we're happy. We're loving this. We're loving life. But anyway, I thank you guys for coming and watching. Um, anything else you want to see, leave it in the comments below. But till next time, bye.